Good day and welcome to another Canvas Quick Tip video brought to you by Instructional Technologies. In order to access your media site recordings and presentations, you'll need to be invited to the My Media Site course in Canvas. Let's start by going to OIT's Help Desk page, helpdesk.fau.edu. Now, click on Services at the top and navigate through OIT's Service Catalog to Canvas, Echo, and Media Site, Echo 360 and Media Site Support, Echo 360 and Media Site Training, and then click on the blue Submit a Ticket button. Fill out the form on the next page, making sure to request an invite to the My Media Site Canvas course in the description and summary of your issue. Within a few moments, depending on help desk traffic, you should receive an invite within Canvas and through email to the My Media Site course. After being invited to the course and accepting the invite, we're ready to install the Media Site Desktop Recorder or MDR. Find the My Media Site course on your dashboard or by clicking on All Courses under the Courses button in the Global Navigation menu. You should now see the My Media Site course homepage. Now, let's click on Canvas MDR in the course navigation menu. This is the main page for using Media Site within Canvas. You'll be able to create new presentations, edit existing ones, and publish or manage your current recordings. If you haven't installed the MDR application on your computer, you'll need to complete a few extra steps. First, click on the gray Download the Desktop Recorder button on the bottom left of the page. Let's download the application by clicking the blue Download Desktop Recorder button at the bottom left of the page. If you're running Mac, click on the Download for Mac link. Once you agree to the terms and conditions, your download will start. When it is done, Open the application by navigating to your Downloads folder on your computer or simply clicking on the downloaded file at the bottom of your Google Chrome window, for example. The install process will begin. Follow the steps when prompted by the installer wizard. Once finished, complete step 3 by going back to your browser and clicking the Register Media Site Desktop Recorder button. When prompted, Click Open MDR to open the MediaSite Desktop Recorder application. You'll know that this process is completed when you see two successful pop-up messages appear on the bottom right of your screen. You can now close the MDR download and registration page within your browser. We can now begin creating our presentation. Let's start by clicking on the blue Create Presentation button at the top left of the page. Now, click on Record Desktop. Give your project a name and a short description and then click on the blue Launch Desktop Recorder button at the bottom right of the pop-up window. In a few moments, you'll be prompted once again to open MDR.exe. Click the Open MDR.exe button to launch the recording application. Now, let's set up our recording. In the MDR window, click on Record. Give your recording a name and then click on the type of recording that you would like to make. You can do a screencast with video if you would like to record your desktop as well as a feed from your webcam. You can do a screencast with audio if you would prefer to only record your desktop along with audio from your computer's microphone. You can also do a slideshow with video, which optimizes the video for viewing slideshows and documents from your computer and record a video feed from your webcam along with it. And finally, you can record a slideshow with only audio from your computer's microphone. It is important to note that recording video along with a screencast creates bigger files that take up more space than using slideshows. If you will only be showing a set of documents or a PowerPoint presentation on your screen, it is recommended that you create a slideshow with video and or audio. If you have a webcam, click on the slideshow plus video option and then click on the blue next button.
Otherwise, click on Slideshow plus Audio. If you don't see your image appearing in the window, click the drop-down under Camera Input and select your webcam. Next, make sure that your voice is being heard. Say a few things and make sure that the audio meter is reacting to your sounds. Once we're set up, click the blue Next button. You'll notice a very small window has appeared. This is the MDR selection dialog. Here you can select what you would like to record. Go ahead and open your slideshow or set of documents and place them somewhere on your screen. You can make them full screen or have them take up a small part of your screen. For our sake, let's capture a region of our screen. Click on the drop down next to region in the MDR selection dialog and then click on capture 16 by 9 region. You can now select a portion of your screen that you would like to record. Select the region where you will be displaying your documents by clicking and dragging your mouse over the area. You can reposition or resize this box by using the arrows or the drag to reposition button in the middle of the red square on your screen. Once you are done, click the green check mark button in the MDR selection dialog. Notice the MDR preview window that has appeared showing your webcam and audio feeds. You can reposition this and use it to pause or finish your recording. When you're ready to record, click on the red record button in the bigger MDR window. A countdown will initiate and your recording will begin right afterwards. You should now be recording. Click through your slideshow or switch documents as necessary and when you're finished with the recording, click the finish button in the MDR preview window. Your recording will be automatically uploaded to the media site servers and when it is finished, you'll get a pop-up message to notify you. Do not log out or turn off your computer until you see that your recording has been uploaded successfully. Let's go back to our MDR page in Canvas. Go back to your web browser and refresh the MDR page. You should see your new recording in this area. Click on it to open and preview it. If it was a lengthy recording, chances are the media site is still processing your video presentation. This may take a while depending on media site's traffic, so feel free to work on something else while periodically coming back to this window and refreshing it. If you think you need to make any edits to the video or slides, you can click the Edit Video or Edit Slides button. These buttons bring up the video editor windows that can be used to trim or cut your video. For now, let's just trim the beginning of our video so that it starts when we're completely ready and beginning to talk. Click the Edit Video button. Here you'll see your presentation laid out along a timeline. Notice the white arrows on the left and right of the timeline. These are the start and end points of your presentation. Click and drag these arrows to change the start and end times. You can preview your changes by clicking the rewind button to go to the beginning of your presentation and then clicking the play button to play your video. You can use the spacebar to stop playing your video or continue playing it. Once you're finished, click on the Commit button at the top of the screen. You can commit these edits to your current presentation or create a new presentation with your finalized video. If you had a very lengthy recording that covers multiple modules or lessons, for example, you could trim this video to a length that covers the first section and commit to a new presentation that is appropriately titled. For now, let's click Commit to New and title this presentation Lesson 1-Edited. Click the Commit button when you're done. Close the editor window and refresh the MDR page in your browser. You should now see your newly created and edited presentation. Click on it. Now that the video is done, we're ready to publish it. 
Click on the Publish tab in the pop-up window. Then, click the Make this presentation viewable button. Click the blue Save button and your video will be ready to be shared or embedded in other parts of Canvas. Let's quickly embed this video into the syllabus page of one of our courses. Close the pop-up window and navigate to your dashboard. Click on a course where you would like to insert your video. Let's put this in the syllabus page of our course. Click on the syllabus item in your course navigation menu and then click the gray edit button at the top right. Within the text editor, select a location where you would like to insert your media site presentation. Now, within the toolbar of the text editor, notice a downward facing arrow that reveals the title, More External Tools, when you hover your mouse over it. Click it and then click on Media Site. A pop up should appear asking you to add media site content. Click on the blue presentation button and then locate your newly created video. Click on the blue Embed button to the right of the video and then click Player Only. Click on the blue Update Syllabus button to view your syllabus page. You and your students can now use the newly embedded MediaSite player to view your embedded presentation.